What's up everyone, Lion Roar here, and let's take a look at a new Stellar Dynasty hero named Andromeda, who is an epic hero and an intriguing one at that. But first, download Jumpstone Legends, a mobile RPG puzzle match game. Use the link in the description to start with free stuff including a bonus hero. All right, so if there's one thing I've learned about these Stellar Dynasty heroes, it's that they are super powerful. And oftentimes these epic heroes are even better than the legendary heroes from other clans. Not always, obviously there's some really powerful legendary heroes from the other clans, but for the most part, you can expect these epic heroes to top most of the legendaries out there, which I think is kind of interesting. So does Andromeda fit into that bill? Let's find out. I am looking at her in the lexicon so we can answer that question. Is it worth it to put all the resources into it? Um, let's just take a look at the stats for a moment here. And this is uh, fully awakened, but uh, what I notice here is that the attack is really high. Uh, and I think that that's important for tile damage mostly. Um, but I think what's even more important about Andromeda, which we're going to see with the skills, is the speed, um, which starts at 200, that's fine, plus the 20 is really high, and you're going to want to get that speed stat as high as you possibly can. Um, I am a little worried about the defense being lower, but there's ways to make up for that. In fact, I think with Andromeda in particular, defense might be one of the stats we ignore, and maybe we want to uh, pump her up with a bit of HP, too, based on one of the skills we're going to look at. So let's get to those skills. Uh, she is an accuracy leader. Um, increase the accuracy of all allies by 30% in all game modes. And that's important because she does have some synergy with that. Uh, let's take a look at the first skill here, which has the status that's important for her to have accuracy. But let's start with the damage. Deals 2,800% speed damage to a single enemy. That could be a lot. That's why you want to get that speed up. And 620% speed six times to random enemies. So she's not just a sniper, which she is, but she's also some AoE damage, which is kind of interesting. And then 75% chance to inflict color blindness on each enemy with hit for three turns. I think that translation from the original language that this game is in is a little funky here. But I think it's trying to say that there's a 75% chance to inflict colorblindness on those enemies who were hit. Um, and colorblindness, of course, means now that tiles, it doesn't matter what they match. They're not gaining as much mana from them. Um, so uh, I, I think this has a potential to be a very good active special as long as you have a way to get that speed up. And I would think as long as you decide to go for the full six stars and... And awaken this hero has a lot of potential to be very good that's true of a lot of heroes though but um let's take a look at the passive life of the new star recovers 10 percent hp for each inflicted color blindness status with her special ability which is again why it's important to have the accuracy up although as far as leader abilities go you're probably going to want to do the speed leader ability like put her on a team with a speed leader um, more than accuracy maybe get the accuracy hp and also speed up uh using equipment if possible now the reason you want to get the hp up over the defense is because she's going to be doing more healing here um and also uh gemstone legends in its current form uh there's it's really hard to deal with a lot of statuses and statuses are doing a lot of the damage in this day and age not necessarily the direct damage um but direct damage can be really powerful uh, as well as long as it's like punching through an enemy, which I think she could have the potential to do. She also gains 100% um, chance uh, recovery for three turns if she inflicts at least three statuses with her special ability. So recovery is gaining 5% HP for each turn. So again, um, relying on the HP for healing. The more HP she has, the more healing she's going to do. That's why I like uh, HP is the defensive stat you're going to put on her. Now, which ones do I favor? Speed more than anything. Let's just load her up with speed. As much speed as you can possibly get on her, the better. Then I think HP is important, and then I think accuracy is important after that. You can generally put a team together that's going to be able to boost uh, accu accuracy of all your heroes. Um, and just get equipment that has, you know, if, if you have the choice between equipment that's increasing the speed and HP, and you see that there's some accuracy on each of those, that's good to put on it too. Um, but I don't think her statuses are devastating, um, which is why... Uh, I think that if if you don't have the accuracy equipment, it, it's not worth sacrificing speed and HP for 
accuracy, but that's just my opinion. All right, I have one scroll I'm going to try for her and see if I can get her. I'll be perfectly happy with a legendary too because I, I just don't get many legendaries with these astral scrolls. But uh, let's see what we get. So it is an epic. And it doesn't look like Andromeda. It is Gurgis. Actually, I have Gurgis already. So I have covered Gurgis in the past. If you want to see that video, make sure to search it up. Go check it out uh, where I cover him. Um, and uh, yeah, good luck to you in your Stellar Dynasty summons. Uh, if you enjoy videos like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. And I will catch you in the next one.